Hello there and welcome to Star Wars Lore. Today's video is all about the TIE Advanced V1, which is the predecessor to Darth Vader's TIE Advanced X1. Now the standard TIE Fighter, which was made by CNR Fleet Systems, or SFS for short, was relatively cheap and easy to produce, but the pilots that flew them were not. The Empire actually demanded a very high standard, and less than 10% of those entering the training academies actually graduated. Now looking at their losses, Imperial naval strategists began to grow concerned that they would have more ships than pilots very soon. So the TIE Advance program was begun to help address this issue before it became a problem. Now the designers of the TIE Advance V1 used some somewhat incomplete plans from another secret project of theirs, from back in the Republic days, as a starting point for their work on the TIE Advance. But they actually had no idea that they were in fact the designs for the Scimitar which was the craft built for Darth Sidious' apprentice, Darth Maul. Now the end result delivered by the SFS designers was exactly what the Imperial Navy sought. A fighter that was both smaller and more compact than the standard TIE fighter, but also much more deadly. The TIE Advanced V1 used a new generation of super efficient solar cells, but only on the inside surface of the notably thicker wings. This allowed for considerable armour to be added to the wing's outer surfaces, making the craft far, far safer to fly than standard tyres. And while this cut down the energy produced by the wings, thus requiring it to have a traditional fueled power plant for the engines, the solar energy still provided more than sufficient power to run weapons, life support, and most importantly, its shields. And this alone addressed one of the biggest complaints about the TIE Fighter and made the Imperial Tacticians very happy indeed. Now the development of the wings also had some additional benefits. The wings of the advanced V1, which also folded to become landing gear, were more compact than those of the TIE Fighter, whose large profile created a huge target during anything but a head-on attack. Even if slightly damaged, the standard craft's handling suffered enormously along with the vessel's power output, as everything drew energy from the solar panels. The augmented weapons aboard the advanced V1 were also a step forward, Tied into an advanced targeting computer, the more powerful guns on the chin of the ship sat either side of a small missile launcher. And lastly, the TIE Advanced V1 was fast. Now, TIE fighters were already quite speedy, hitting 1200km an hour in atmosphere, but the TIE Advanced V1 clocked 1600km an hour, and thanks to its smaller curved wings and better repulsor engines, it was also easier to control. Once production of the TIE Advance V1 was approved, the entire production line was moved out to the planet of Lothal on the Adarim territories as part of a political move. This was to help shore up support for the Empire on the planet ahead of increased security measures and more rigorous exploitation of the planet's resources. The ship was then unveiled at the 15th Empire Day celebrations where it was then blown up by the local rebel cell. Now, sadly, not long afterwards, the Imperial Navy fell foul of the bureaucracy. Now, despite the better attrition and performance figures, the accountants could not justify the cost of mass-producing TIE fighters as expensive as the advanced V1. So the project was then mothballed, with the limited handful of fighters that were already made being given to the Inquisitors. Now, the early development of the project did inspire Darth Vader to request his own starfighter, which drew on many of the developments in the advanced V1. His was dubbed the TIE Advanced X1, and was in turn a major influence on the development of the TIE Interceptor so the legacy of the TIE Advanced V1 lived on. And that's the TIE Advanced V1 in a nutshell, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, I'll talk to you all in the next one, and until then, take care, and may the Force be with you.